Hi guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome cross watchers. And for those of you who are brand new to the channel, happy to have you join, really happy to have you join us. Come into the comments, say hey, where, where you're logging in from, signing in from. Um, say hello to Leo too. This is Leo. Leo happens to be a Gemini. I was expecting a Leo kitty, but I got a Gemini kitty. And uh, we are an all opportunity taker of kitties. So <laughs> uh, we're going to see if he might move so I could do the reading. But anyway, I'm going to start here with Gateway of Light Activation Oracle. We are in the Lion's Gate portal, which spans from end of July to mid-August. So let's stay with uh, the Gateway of Light Activation. Here we go for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising. Too many, too many, too many. Okay, we'll try that again. It is also a uh, lawn day since we had the storm. They pushed it off a day. Here we go. Okay, bye-bye. You get the Halls of Amenti Initiation. Ooh, secrets revealed, treasures uncovered, and initiations very nice i'm going to find this for you halls of amenti initiation your message reads as follows you are in a deep initiate initiatory chamber at this time you might feel that things are heavy and challenging but know that a reconfiguration is happening energetically you are going through an initiation that will allow you to go beyond the fears of the ego and transcend the limitations of the physical realm. You might not feel that light is present because you are in the middle of this phase at the moment, but know that it is present within you. You might be feeling frustrated or overwhelmed, but a lot of this anxiety is actually old energies that were stored in the depths of your body being released so that your vibration can rise. Perfect, beautiful halls of Amenti initiation. Secrets revealed, treasures uncovered, and initiations. Sounds very mysterious, Gemini. So we'll work with that energy, won't we? Okay, um, I'm doing the twin flame spread today. So we're looking at your shared energy with your divine counterpart. Kind of where you're at on this journey where they're at uh your karmic challenge their karmic challenge opportunities at this moment and then divine guidance so that's where we are please note i still have the lion's gate special offer 88 dollars off my private normal private reading rate that link is below here we go gemini sun moon rising venus your shared energy is temperance, which is really beautiful because it speaks about um, sort of the ascended mind. Uh, this is opposite. This is actually Sagittarian energy, which is opposite Gemini. So where Gemini rules sort of uh, where we are here on this earthly plane in our communications, in our understandings, in our perceptions uh we go over to sagittarius in the ninth house and it's more ascended it's the spiritual mind it's it's um a higher order of understanding of patience of uh, spiritual wisdom so i like that because that's the polarity okay so i like this for the two of you because look one foot on the ground one foot in the feelings kind of staying anchored moored um, I like the energy staying in flow. Right now, you're both kind of going with the flow. <laughs> yes, indeed. Very interesting. We do have Mercury is now officially retrograde in the sign of Virgo. That's one of the signs he rules. Gemini, you are the other. Ooh, right. So we're slowing things down a bit, trying to get our minds... Uh, recalibrated so and remember these can come through reversed especially if you're a cross watcher so what are you doing here um, in your uh, 
where you're at in this connection at the moment, you're sort of taking the 30,000 foot view. With the hanged man, it is about waiting for some enlightenment, which is a perfect, you know, companion to temperance. They're both very spiritual cards. So you're not taking any action. You're kind of in that moment where, you know, you're okay with things standing still temporarily as we collect ourselves. Your person may be in either dealing with some healing, um, but also some reflection. This is my Mercury retrograde card. For me, it's not one of the normal interpretations, but for me, because it's reflection, it's review, it's reevaluating, it's all the retrograde words. It's a time of reassessing, of recuperating, resting, um, re-energizing, realigning if need be. Now for you, in your karmic challenge, it is about the partnership. And so since I'm seeing some, a few messages around healing, a few messages around like emotional confusion, overwhelm, um, you're needing to pump the brakes here and take a pause for the cause, uh, there's a challenge here for you with regard to partnership, to this connection. So I will wait for some clarifiers. And your person's karmic challenge is, all the options, how to process them, getting lost in the weeds of their emotions, confusion, overwhelm, etc. So doesn't this make sense now? You know, it, it might just be that they need to kind of prioritize things, um, better understand what's being put in front of them and take it kind of one cup of crazy at a time. Sometimes the seven of cups is just about options. It could be that. Um, and when we don't have things very prioritized, then it kind of comes at us all at once. That's why the opportunity is to slow down the pace. The Knight of Pentacles is Virgo energy. We have Venus in Virgo now, and we have Mercury in Virgo, and Mercury is retrograde. So both those energies, they're both personal planets. They impact us more. So in the sign that likes to create order, um, yeah, and to have some discernment about matters of the heart and the way we communicate, right? That's the opportunity is to slow things down, begin with the end in mind, be more methodical, be more deliberate, be more intentional. Yep. And then the divine guidance is, and then the wish will be granted. Okay, so I, it just looks really lovely. And if it seems like it's not, if it's seeming a little dark, you're, this is initiation. You're, being, you're having some initiation phase that you're going through. The light is within. The light is within. Okay, Gemini, let's see what we've got. Temperance. The sun. The nine of cups. King of swords. King of Swords is coming through more as um, a nod to some strategy, like build some strategy into this um, because there's happiness and wish fulfillment available to you. Um, go with the flow a little bit, but sort of have a backup plan, right? The King of Swords is the strategist of the tarot, wants to do the right thing. It's coming from honor and integrity, um, honesty, truthfulness, so I'm not saying the King of Swords necessarily as a person, since it's coming from the bottom of the deck. It's something to be considered in your unconscious awareness. Yes, I'm going with the flow, but I got a plan. Um, and so, and this is looking at the two of you together. So that's both your energies combined. And as we're coming upon the ultimate goal here, of some form of happiness and a sense of self-satisfaction that yes, I, I didn't kind of push, I didn't push too hard. I love that this is an air energy. This is a a Aquarian energy. All the swords are air and I'm, I'm doing a reading for Gemini. So it feels to me like part of the um, thought process, part of the plan has to be about, yeah, I'm going with the flow, but I know in my mind that I kind of need things to, to kind of, right? To have a plan. Okay. Hanged man for you, where you're at with this connection. Hmm. Virgo. 
go again. Um, I have two cards here with the Hanged Man and the Hermit. Both cards have a tendency for a little remoteness, right? A little pulled back and hidden away. Um, Queen of Pentacles and underneath is that Ten of Cups. So it's almost as if you're not really showing your full hand here. There's something that's a little remote, not yet revealed. Queen of Pentacles, very together, very grounded. Um, I like that part of the Temperance card where there's one foot on the ground. So I'm seeing your stability. I'm seeing the groundedness. But the Queen of Pentacles is also a feminine archetype of a life partner. And if you're looking here and internally, you're thinking about, well, you know, this is about my happily ever after. So I'm kind of going to just really observe this from the higher plane. And maybe there's something here with the um, uh, Hermit where you're trying to really understand yourself. Um, the Hermit isn't always about, you know, being reclusive and you know, being remote and all that, but I am feeling a certain, re something you may not be sharing is what I'm getting out of this, that you're sort of examining it from all angles and maybe there's some personal growth that's needed here, some self-awareness and introspection that you're really after to kind of give you that sense that you're on terra firma in a situation that doesn't feel super stable, right? Because this is probably part of the goal. So now let's look at your person, where they're at with regard to the connection, Four of Swords. Okay. So their Four of Swords, they're, we're, this is about their reflection on how some things have gone, where there's been some tension, Five of Wands, some conflict, maybe a little chaos, and they're really reflecting on their need to sort of, you know, speak from their heart, to, you know, let you know that if an apology is necessary, so be it. They really want to close out this very discombobulated cycle. They're into a new beginning. They're, they really are. The world is when, you know, it's Saturn. It's, you know, where we're learning lessons and where we're saying, yeah, I don't want to go through that again, right? I feel like I get it. And so that Four of Swords is this person, in terms of the connection, is really doing some deep ref reflecting, reviewing, reevaluating of everything and coming through with some awareness of the need to kind of speak from the heart and let you know what they've learned about the situation, um, that they want to end the tension, end the conflict, um, end the drama, whatever that Five of Wands is about. Um, and kind of come through it and begin an, a new cycle. And you may be actually kind of, you may kind of be hiding out a little bit, right? You may have kind of pulled yourself away for a little bit, waiting, and I'm not saying waiting for them, but sort of just kind of not giving them the space. Here you are, totally together, grounded, solid, safe place for them to land. Um, because you've got this on your mind. So I feel like you'd be ready for that, to receive that message, it seems to me. Okay, so let's look at your karmic challenges now. You've got the Two of Cups. <laughs> Knight, of, Knight of Wands, Two of Swords. Okay, so there may be part of the conflict may be that there's an in and out nature, right? Uh, they come in and from your point of view, they may get their needs met and then they go out again. And then you're left feeling that sense of rejection, abandonment, and or feeling devalued some way by that, right? You want a real partnership. You're feeling twin flame, soulmate. No, I, this isn't supposed to be, you know, uh, when, you get a wild hair and that you're showing up getting your needs met and then I don't see or hear from you. I'm, I'm feeling like 
this isn't how it's supposed to be. So I'm in this mode of making an important decision. So your karmic challenge is right here. Is it too physical and not enough emotions, right? Um, and the two of swords is where you're in that crossroads moment of having this important decision to make. Their karmic challenge is the seven of cups. <laughs> My goodness. Um, well, first of all, they know, at least in some unconscious way, that, that they've hurt your feelings, at the very minimum. Um, they're struggling with taking some accountability and clearing the air. They're kind of all over the map, right? And it's like, blah, 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 blah. so in the connection like where things are right now they are reflecting on it and they know they kind of have to you know speak from their heart it's not a have to it, it's it's a reflecting on what they know they need to do what they know they they don't want to cycle through this over and over again that they know there is some tension and conflict, if not some drama, that they know they have caused. So they know there's a reason for them to, a quick, fast, and in a hurry, take the accountability and restore the balance, right? Because they know there's been some pain. I'm seeing you with the feelings of rejection, abandonment, and feeling like you've been, you know, that there's, that, that there's something good here, but that it feels more like it's on their terms when it suits their agenda. And it leaves you feeling somehow uh, devalued. It may not be the truth of the situation, but it, it is how you feel. And so their karmic challenge is they find themselves like stuck in the weeds of all their feelings. Um, it doesn't just, the I'm sorry's of it all and, and it doesn't come easily to this person. It should, it doesn't. So that's their karmic challenge, is how to clear the air in a way that lets you know um, that that's not who they want to be. That's not who they want to be. So, opportunity, Knight of Pentacles. Page of Wands, Eight of Cups, uh, Seven of Swords. Interesting. The opportunity, I like this because I have my moments with the Page of Wands, but we're getting on better terms. <laughs> um, I particularly like him with the Knight of Pentacles. There's a nice blend here, and I'll tell you why. Because the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy, by the way. I'm a Virgo, so this is going to make sense to you. Um, and I'm Virgo with Leo rising, so you're going to get it in a second. But the, 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 the thing with the Knight of Pentacles is there's this like pulling back and they're like, whoa, Nelly, let's, let's take things one step at a time, right? Slow and steady wins the race. But in the slowing down and the getting clear about where we're headed here, what our intentions are, and being a little bit more circumscribed about the process, right? Sometimes we, you know, squeeze all the freaking fun out of it because there is chemistry here. There is passion here. There is attraction here. There is, you cannot have 
a balanced connection without that. So let me share with you, I did this the other day too. Um, so if you already saw this, my apologies, but there's something really special about this card, the Page of Wands, especially on our Knight of Pentacles. And it says this, laser focus on soul's delight, passion unfolding, excitement, attention toward those things thrilling you on every level. So, right, so there's this youthful, like, yeah, we're going to be careful and we're going to be methodical, but can't we? But it's also thrilling. It's optimistic. It's positive. It's fun. It's, right? Because we're going we're gonna to learn on the way. We're going to have joy on the way. We're, we're going to have passionate moments. But this is what's leading. We're leading with the maturity. We're leading with the groundedness. We're leading with a freaking plan. And then we're going to go off on this, this path and find, and oh, we're going to chase each other here. And then we're going to be plotting, 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 plotting. Do you see what I'm saying? There's something that's the opportunity that I really like. You know what we're leaving behind? We're leaving behind the bullshit. The games. Yeah. The player crap. Pardon my French. I only let it fly when it, it's rising up, and, and that's just kind of how I see it in this connection. And that's kind of what you're waiting for. You're like, no, I know there's something here. I know there's something here. And I'm kind of waiting for the enlightenment. Well, maybe you just got it, because that's the opportunity. So let's see the divine guidance. Remember I said, wishes being granted, dreams coming true. You want the romance, you want the new beginning, you gotta let go of the past. Yeah. Screw the regrets, right? Screw the mistakes. Person apologizes, take the apology the first time and then let it go. Leave it behind. You're not going that way. All right, that's for you, my beloved Geminis. I hope you found it enlightening. I'm gonna give you the astrology in a moment, but um, I'm gonna take it to the extended. And we're gonna look at this person because I feel they're the one that is really struggling a little more than you are. Um, and I am, whenever I see who's struggling more, that's the one I'm going to give attention to in the extended. And in the extended, I'm doing, a, it's a little different than what I normally do. I'm uh, focusing on higher vibration, lower vibration, so that you know what it looks like. Higher vibration meaning, what does that look like when this person's operating from their higher vibration? What will it look like if they're operating from their lower vibration so that you know how to approach them or not okay um it'll make it a lot easier i'm also going to cover i'm looking at my notes here um i'm covering the hidden energy again but it's something that they don't want you to really know about um at this moment it's kind of hidden for a reason but it would be helpful for you to see um, a message they do want to send to you and then we'll explore some other details. So the link to that is in the description box below. A little bit further down is the link to the Lionsgate special for private readings. And if you have enjoyed the reading, if it's been enlightening, if it's been confirmational, if it has given you a lot to think about um, and you haven't already, please subscribe below, right? That's really important because if I can't get in front of new viewers if YouTube doesn't know that new viewers are enjoying what I'm doing here and taking the chance and subscribing to the channel. So please do that. All right, here we go. Temperance, and I say thank you in advance. Temperance is Sagittarian energy. The sun is the sun, but it rules the sign of Leo. We've got some Aquarius and the King of Swords. 
Hanged Man is Neptune, which rules Pisces. Queen of Pentacles is Capricorn. Virgo here in the Hermit. Page of Cups is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Saturn here in the World card, Aquarius and Capricorn. We have some more Sagittarius in the Knight of Wands. Libra in our Queen of Swords. Gemini in the Knight of Swords. Virgo in the Knight of Pentacles. And Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in our little Page of Wands, my new friend. Um, the star is Aquarian energy, Pisces in the Knight of Cups. That's what I've got. I'm headed to the extended. The links are below. Bye for now.